Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these most sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord of mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are splendor of the Father and Word made flesh, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> we set sail from Troas, making a straight run <clears throat> for Samothrace, and on the next day to ne Neapolis, and there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia, <clears throat> and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought we would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thracia, a worshiper of God, listened, and the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Alleluia. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lonely with, lowly with victory. Alleluia. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send for you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me, and you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away, <coughs> they will expel you from Ephesus, from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you may remember what I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we hear the conversion of the very first European, the first uh, convert in Philippi, a woman named Lydia. And this moment where this woman, who presumably is a, a well-to-do widow, who uh, is a dealer in fine purple cloths, is an indication of the advocate that Jesus is sending to the church, that Paul speaks the words of truth, but Lydia her heart is opened, the scriptures tell us, by God. So often we don't realize the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We may be confronting difficult situations and rely solely on ourselves. But instead, Jesus has promised an advocate, a comforter, someone to, to give us the words. And, and we often don't utilize this powerful gift of the Holy Spirit, God's life dwelling within us giving us the words that we need to say. And so it is that when we are in difficult situations, if we're in a challenging meeting, if we pray or with a difficult family member or whatever, if we pray to the Holy Spirit 
and to open our hearts, but also ask the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of those with whom we speak, magnificent things can happen. This great and powerful gift is ours. We just have to unbind it, unbind Him, unbind the Spirit in our lives. And that only happens by inviting the Spirit in, by making that prayer uh, to come, Holy Spirit, and enlighten my heart, but also enlighten theirs. And so we pray. We pray for our Holy Father and for all those who lead and guide us in faith, that they will teach us the way of, of holiness, the way of the Spirit. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, for those especially suffering from the coronavirus. Uh, we remember in a special way Agnes Lee and Julia Carver. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer for our nation that will be united in purpose for the common good, especially to end the pandemic. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a special way for all those healthcare workers, grocery store employees, etc., that are working to make sure that we are safe and fed uh, and healing. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions which rest in the silence of our hearts. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, especially for the intention of this Mass, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear these prayers. Send forth your Spirit to unbind the gifts that he has given us and also to open the hearts with those with whom we speak. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the fact sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. So I have peace, mercy, peace, Sally, peace, Mom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a wonderful day, Mercy.